it's a strange thought to think that we are all just almost fully atheist because there have been countless gods. There are thousands of gods that are being worshipped right now, but we collectively, most of us, only believe in one God. So we are atheistic towards all the other thousands of gods, which I think is kind of funny, but it is true. And so everybody has their own perception of what is God, what is divinity, what is the infinite intelligence, the source of all things. It is fascinating because so many people, the vast majority of people worldwide and throughout history, have sought refuge in a higher power. And I have done this myself at, at nauseum, at, not at nauseum, but like at great uh, uh, effort to communicate with the divine. And I believe that I do that. And I believe that Muslim, Jews, Christians, Hindus, Buddhists, all the other religions, all the 40,000 Christian denominations, I believe that all of these people are striving to learn a better way of life, a way to enhance their relationships with their loved ones, relationships with their inner self, and ultimately connect higher to their higher power, their God. And the question that comes to mind is, is God going to punish all of these tens of billions and, and way more of people that have existed on this planet and have attempted to strive diligently in their religious rituals, their practices, to get to know the source of all things, are you going to strike these people down because they didn't believe perfectly? Or is there a perfect religion? Is there something? And of course, every everybody from all the different Christian denominations, from the Buddhists, Hindus, Muslims, everybody's going to say, oh, you, I'm right and you're wrong. I have a difficult time, and I'd like to know y'all's opinion, if for this finite piece of time, like you can just, like this little finger right here, if you could just extend that out as far as you can ever see, this is your, you know, represents your life. And the linear time just goes on and on and on and on. So in that little flicker of a moment, and you have infinity, does, does what we do here not that it's insignificant. I think it's it's very important. But there's a lot that we just don't know and that we cannot wrap our minds around to say that the infinite, the source of all things, is going to let this little speck of time that is not even measurable in, when you think of infinity. It, it's hard to wrap my mind around how any God no matter what it is, whether it's Jesus, Muhammad, you know, whatever, Jehovah, all of them, but that would punish us for, or anybody, for striving to live a good life, to, to strive to worship in their own way, to strengthen their relationships with the people around them, to help build strong communities of love, caring, peace, I think that's what ultimately, in my humble opinion, is what God wants us to do, is, is to meditate, to pray, to try our best, and, and hopefully actually one day succeed in being good stewards of the land, to be very thankful of our uh, food and animals, and learn and understand the blueprints of ourselves and animals and the plants that we eat so that we can be sustaining in better ways than we are now, that we become healthier in body, mind, spirit, and soul, 
and have compassion and empathy and love for other people. And if I'm wrong about that, I, I'm just entirely wrong about God. And I don't believe that. I don't believe so. Uh, there's an, something innate, in, innately uh, seeking the source of all things inside of the vast majority of people. And if that is our main goal is to get to know ourselves better so we can know others better and communicate and listen, practice the art of listening and really meditating in ways that get us closer to these infinite energies that are around us and flow through us and are everywhere. I think it's important for us to consider these things and to lessen the divides that exist between humans everywhere. So with that, if you like these topics of self-exploration, then join us at the Mystics of Texas. We gather every single Sunday at 1.15 and because we start at 1.30 and we're extremely punctual. So I'd appreciate it if you're in the local area and you want to come out, come see us. And we have a great time. There's normally, well, every time there's food after and and then we do all sorts of things. It's different every time. It's great for uh, the family. There's outside games, especially now that falls upon us. Uh, we just get together and have fantastic fellowship. So if this resonates with you at all, then come out and see us. And we look forward to getting to know you.